Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and starting it in the weirdest way as always. Instead of using hotkeys, I'm using the actual screen so you see me start the recording. Today's video is all about Simpsons Hit and Run, the awesome classic Simpsons Grand Theft Auto like game that I will admit I never played it. But you might be wondering. Why am I making a video about it if I've never even played the game and I don't even know anything about it? Well, recently, the source code for the entire game for GameCube, PS2, Xbox, and PC leaked to the public, including tools, including uh, game art, including everything, actually. As much as you can think of has leaked to the public. And I wanted to go through, because not everybody's willing to download these leaks and do a file investigation, like I do. I wanted to go through and actually dig around the files, show you guys what's in these files, and go from there. So, as you can see, this is the actual game. It starts up just fine. There's nothing special at the moment in here. But I'm going to close that, and as you can see, I do have the game right here in front of me. And this is the CD, the PC variant, because that's the only one I can actually play, obviously. But it does have all the art and everything in its compiled form. All the movies, scripts, sounds. Everything is here. There's even a... Debug EXE, which granted I haven't gotten that to work yet, so I don't know how to make it work. If you run this EXE, you get an error that says uh, DLL load failed and you just have to abort it. So obviously that doesn't work, but maybe that's all up to me just not knowing how to properly debug a AAA title. Which, can you call this a AAA title? I mean, it was made by a large gaming studio. I guess it's kind of a triple A title. But let's start at the beginning. So here's all the character animations. As you can see there's like Bart, June 2010. Oh my god, these folders. I don't know how to open any of these files actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Dot MA, I don't know what that is. Pure 3D animations. What is this batch file? So if I run this batch file, what happens? Absolutely nothing. Got it. <laughs> uh, scenes. Animations in the scenes. Yeah, I can't run any of these files, so there's probably no reason to go through these. But as you can see, Ralph, Nelson, Milhouse, everybody's here as far as the children. Fat. Okay, Barney, Fat Driver, Fat Pedestrian. Okay. Normal people. Cool. So all the character animations are there, and then here's all the 3D models. Apu, MB. What is is that? Maya. I want to say that's Maya format. Uh, you can sometimes tell if it's ever gonna open. My computer's getting slower and slower. I really need an SSD. Yeah, Maya. So these are 3DS Maya files or whatever. Uh, created December 3rd, 2002 at 12.27 p.m. That's pretty cool that I have that detail. So, you know, all the art stuff, I can't really do anything in there. But we do have documentation that we can browse through that for some odd reason doesn't load. Doesn't load anything. Okay, that's... Fantastic. Here's files, docs. I don't have Microsoft Office. Could open these in Google Drive, maybe. Better. It, none of these HTML files do anything. That's the dumbest thing. Huh. They don't do anything. Why not? That's really strange. Doc files, designing stuff. Man, none of this stuff opens. Why not? 
I really wonder why it doesn't open anything. Let's try... I can't believe I just clicked Edge. But we're going to find out. Simpsons 2 5-Minute Primer. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Specs, documentation, content, core design. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Credits. Oh, wow, it works in Edge, but doesn't work in Firefox. Got it. This is cool, though. So let's see if there's old stuff. Ah, the cheats. Oh, there you go. There's all the hacks. Q&A stuff. Collision testing on level one. Ah, PSD files. That's cool. September 26th. Man, right down to the dates. That's so cool. Wonder. Okay, so a lot of images and stuff are missing, which is interesting. Huh, yeah. A lot of images and stuff missing, but that's okay. Everything is here, though. It's so cool. So, well, that's all the documentation. I mean, there's even technical stuff. Game names. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause the recording so I can open up my Google Drive. I want to open up that spreadsheet. I want to see what other names the game was supposed to have. Oh my god, I took just a quick second to read through. You guys are in for it. Pika Simpsons. <laughs> they legitimately logged every game name idea they could. The Simpsons, a slightly better Simpsons game. Adventure of the Inanimate Carbon Rod. Okay, Alive, Alive and Kicking. All your cola belong to us. Doing donuts. Entertainment tonight. I can definitely see why some of these were definitely not allowed. I wonder what the ones in blue specifically mean. Ones that were actually maybe seriously thought of. Huh, who knows. The Simpsons Pulp Fiction. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be able to get rid of that. Simpsons Break Tracks. Okay, that's weird. There's so many potential game names. The Zombie Massacre. Springfield Live, Springfield Rush. There's some cool game names in here, actually. That's actually really cool. Technical stuff. PS2 performance. So let's see what that's kind of about. Because this could be interesting information. Uh, I guess I could, you know. PlayStation 2 Render Performance Primer. 2001. Man, okay. Introduction, audience. Wow. Frame buffer size info and bytes. And how much you would need. That's. There's some cool stuff in here. There's some really cool stuff in here. But let's actually look here. So if you go to build, there's a whole bunch of items. There's like cleaning up the levels. This is for GameCube compiling. Or Xbox compiling, I guess. That's interesting. Help. SRR2. Art Pipeline Overview. Oh, so this is how to compile it. Interesting. And you can compile it in debug mode or compressed. That's pretty cool. Nightly Pipe. That, uh, that's... <laughs> oh, Pearl. I don't have Perl installed on my computer, so I guess we're not compiling this. Work. Let's see. I think these are just game levels. Yeah, they are. Okay. So that's art stuff. GC, this is probably build process. Okay, cool. All the files in the list. 
make GCM. I wonder what that is. Read me. You'll need the keyboard and the steering wheel libraries installed. Okay. Set video mode. Interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. I don't see PC in here. That's interesting. Guard. I wonder what guard is. Nightly builds. PlayStation 2. I wonder what this one is. MW. What the difference is. The actual game tools. That's really cool. You probably don't need to do much with many of these, though. This is probably all automated through the compiling. These are all going to be command line things, too. PS2ISO.BAT. Hmm. This is cool. I've never really sat and actually dug through this kind of stuff before. So that's why I'm considering it actually really cool, and I'm having a lot of fun looking through it. I've never quite understood large-scale game creation with large teams, and you really got to think about how well they keep things together. It's actually quite extraordinary, really. Cheats. Oh, let's look at some C++. And that was your look at some C++ with Dave. Got you. I really need to close some of this stuff. I have too much open in here. Way too much. What is going on? Anyway, no cheats in there. Got it. What about this one? There we go. Unlock all vehicles. No top speed. High acceleration car jump on horn. Trippy. <laughs> In the final version, so these are registered cheats, and then this is the final compile. Unregistered. This is pretty cool. I love looking through code, even if I don't understand it. I mean, I can't even imagine what some of this actually looks like. Here's some debug information. It'd be cool to figure out how to enable debug mode on the game. There's just so more so much to this. It's insane. And then if we go to tools, there's all the tools and everything here. The Maya stuff, art checker, backups. Oh, wow, they used Visual Studio 7. That's what that icon is. Why? Why would they use something so old? Oh. Yeah, Simpsons Hit and Run 2001. At the time, that was new. Never mind. Idiot moment. Got it. I mean... Do not edit this. Format version 6.0. But yeah, that's Visual Studio 6. Is what they started on this game. Wow. Let me see. Open with Notepad. I bet it's the same. Format version 12. Visual Studio 2013. So, either somebody in the leak community opened this up in Visual Studio 2013, or somebody else has opened this up since for, like, porting it to new consoles or something at the actual company that developed the game. Interesting. wonder why they would do that. But yeah, there's not much to this really to dig through. Unless you actually know what you're doing and know how to mod this game already anyway, there's not much here that I can really personally figure out. This is about as much as I understand. I mean, there are a bunch of save files, 
And if we actually go in, I can resume a developer's saved game, which I think is pretty cool, actually. Aliens invade Springfield. Evil Cola causes dead to rise from the grave. But yeah, you can, like, move around. I can actually talk to Lisa. Start a mission. Rigor mortars. Collect supplies to help fend off the zombies. Cool. So it would be actually really fun to do a full playthrough, I think, of this game. Go to the Flanders. I need to go to Flanders. How do I get to Flanders house? It's this way. Oh dear lord, do I not run fast. No pagans. How do I get into his thing? Flanders! Let me in! How do I get into his... Oh, did it say use a car? See, this is how much I know about The Simpsons. Hit and run. I don't know much about this game at all. So, what I need to do is get in my car. And just drive through his fence. They're like, you see the spooky ghosts coming off of my tires? That's really cool. Oh, I'm an idiot. See, I don't know. We'll restart the mission again. I see that I can just go into his backyard, so we're going to do that. I wonder if I can run. I don't even know that, to be honest with you. Oh, come on, finish loading. I really need to get an SSD. Oh, you can run. Easy. Got it. Flanders! What do I have to do? Like, go down here? I can't get in there. How do I get to Flanders? Well, anyway, you get the point. So, fun to dig through. One of these days I'll attempt to open up the source code and we'll actually see if the game can be compiled and what we're missing. Realistically, what we're probably missing is the SDKs for compiling it for console uh, or maybe even PC. There might be some there might be a lot of stuff missing actually that keeps us from compiling the game. But it is all here. So in reality, somebody can take this code and port the game to newer systems or something like that without really any need of modifications except for the SDK and maybe fixing some bugs in the code and doing some other stuff, some small stuff to make it work with like a newer console or something like that. I don't know much in the realm of that kind of stuff when it comes to gaming. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a file investigation. I might do one with another game. I actually have two other games I want to do this with. And we'll go from there. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.